that's great you um quoted Damasio because yeah he really sort of shaped a lot of this field with the somatic marker hypothesis you're absolutely right being that sort of internal signals can also influence decision making and I think there is space for both approaches you know sometimes our feelings can not necessarily align with what the right thing is to do um, and there are definitely situations where we need to make the heart decisions, hard decisions, hard decisions, um, <laughs> hard decisions, hard decisions that, that go again. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, so I do think there's space for that kind of rational thing where know why you're feeling what you're feeling and choose to override it. However, I think there's also the reverse scenario where actually paying attention to these bodily signals can also be extra informative. And there's beautiful experiments that have been done, um, led by Tim Dalgleish and Barnaby Dunn in Cambridge, where they set up complex decision-making card games in, in the lab. And they do use a card game because they can control an algorithm about what is a good choice or a bad choice with with um, good choices being more associated with an, a, a, a positive outcome and negative with a bad one. But there's a complex algorithm underlying which cards are uh, associated with a good choice and which cards are associated with a bad choice. So if you ask people which are the good cards and which are the bad cards, they can't answer you. It's not accessible to explicit knowledge. But if you look at their cardiac signals or their skin conductance response, that is their body response, it can, in some people, differentiate between what are good cards and bad cards. So the body knows before the mind has caught up. And that's a beautiful instinct of how this instinctive gut reaction founded in bodily change can be more informative and more correct than conscious decision making which can sometimes lag behind these body-based instinctive signals but there are two systems just like you say this more controlled prefrontal cortex um slower system um which is under volitional control much more and allows you to override instinctive reactions and those instinctive reactions can be actually informative um and I guess the, the point is that it doesn't even need to necessarily be an emotional decision in the traditional sense. Just having something being associated with a good outcome makes it an emotional signal in an indirect sense, like a card game isn't th what you would yeah, traditionally yeah. see as emotional. Yeah. So actually, yeah, these signals can guide us in, in just pure cognitive decisions as well.